Hi friends, today I would like to tell you on who is a Christian. The way I have a story, the way that Billy Sunday got, was saved. He was sitting by the roadside, leaning upon a wall, with his five friends with whom he roamed along the streets of Chicago. So he got tired and leaned upon a wall with his friends. They were sitting, leaning upon a wall by the roadside, staring at the people who were coming and going by the way. Then suddenly, a crowd of men and women passed by the same street on which Billy Sunday was sitting with his friends. As a crowd of people were singing psalms, Billy was reminded of his childhood. By rising early in the morning, his mother would sing the same psalms so that he might hear the psalms. By waking up with his mother, by looking at her face, by listening to her psalms, by observing her godliness, he would sit in the morning. Then suddenly, one young man came near to Billy and his friends, and he said, we are all going to Falafi Garden Prayer Temple. Why don't you come with us? Why don't you come with us? He invited them. Then Billy Sunday was reminded of his mother and her sons, the glowing lights of godliness in her eyes. He was captured by her memories, went into a different world. Then suddenly he stood and said, I'm going. I'm going near to the feet of Jesus Christ. And by saying that, he was mingled with that crowd. Then the friends who were a team of Billy Sunday said, Is he insane? He has lost his mind. They mocked him. But, but some of his friends encouraged him. His friend Michael Kelly told him that, Look, Billy, I'm proud of you. I've not accepted Christianity. But you go. You go to Christ and I will help with my own ability what I could do. Here I want to tell you something. Supporting the people who are going to Christ is good, but He cannot save you unless you give your heart to Him. God cannot save you unless you give your heart to Him and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And God, God cannot save me unless I give my heart to Him and accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. So let us do that. Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross for our sins to save us from hell, to give us eternal life so that we will be saved. If we accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior, we are a true Christian. We are, we are, we are Christians, we are true Christians. We accept Jesus Christ into heart. He will give us salvation. He will save us from hell so that we can enter into the kingdom of God one day through the gates of the kingdom and so that our names when at the moment we were washed whatever the moment may be we were washed from our sins then we will be or we will be washed from our sins then our names will be written in the kingdom of God our self Jesus Christ gives gives us the gift of salvation so that we can enter into hell one day our names were written in the kingdom of God and we can escape the hell, the punishment of hell. I hope I will be with you in, in his kingdom. I hope I will be with you in, his, in Christ's kingdom on day, praising him throughout, gen, throughout generations. Amen. Thank you.